planning the ultimate Maldives surf trip? Well, here are five of the best Maldives surf resorts for your bucket list. Hi guys, Chris from Step of Travel here. Welcome back to the channel. And before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any video goodness. Now today we're gonna to be talking about surfing in the Maldives, which is one of my personal favorite surf destinations. And it's definitely one of the best contenders for luxury surf trips. Uh, so if you're looking for pumping surf, world-class waves, and awesome luxurious villas, this one's definitely for you. And if you wanna learn anything more about any of the resorts mentioned in this guide or book your spot, make sure you check out the crew of Stoke Surf Adventures and they'll hook you up with the best deal. So yeah, let's jump straight in. First on my list of favorite Maldives surf resorts has to be Cinnamon Don Valley, which is home of the famous Pasta Point, uh, one of the most consistent and fun waves in the whole of the Maldives. Uh, this exclusive left-hander sits just a short paddle off of their famous surfer bar and is one of the most exclusive waves in the country as well, with a maximum of 30 surfers at a time. Um, if you are heading to Pasta Point for surfing, you will need to book a dedicated surfer package through an accredited agent like the crew of Stoke Surf Adventures um, because it is limited to 30 surfer passes at any one time. Uh, it does include all your meals as well as daily guiding and surf transfers to a range of other breaks outside of the resort as well uh, with the likes of Sultans, Honkies, Cokes, Chickens and Jailbreaks all within, within a short transfer of the resort. And Dara, the surf crew here, are absolutely on the ball for all the best surf conditions and will make sure you score the best waves while you're there. In terms of amenities at the resort, everything you'd expect from a Maldives resort is on offer here, including beautiful pools, epic overwater bungalows, and a huge range of food options as well. Uh, situated in the North Maritol also means it's a really quick transfer from the International Airport and Cinnamon Don Valley sits just 25 minutes speedboat journey away. So it's great for those who don't want to add all that extra travel time onto their international flights. But yes, in terms of exclusivity, Pasta Point is definitely one of the best Maldives surf resorts out there and should be on every surfer's bucket list. Next up, we're heading to Nyama Private Islands, which is home of Vodi, an absolutely reeling left-hander, which is the pre-season training ground for the likes of Kanoa Igarashi and Gabrielle Medina. So you know you've got world-class waves right on your doorstep. Uh, also within a short speedboat journey of the resort, uh, the likes of Hocus Pocus and Kasabu are great for a huge variety of surfers, but Vodi is definitely the main focus of Nyama and is an absolute leg burner of a wave and an easy paddle out off the island. Uh, one of the good things about Nyama is you don't need a dedicated surf pass to surf here, despite the fact that Vodi is exclusive for Nyama guests, which means you can take advantage of some awesome deals across the, the year, including kind of complimentary uh, meal plan upgrades and reduced room rates. So make sure you check out the crew of Stoke Surf Adventures, who will give you the best deals that are on the offer at the time. Uh, you're down in Dalu Atoll, which is a little bit more of a jump from uh, Mali International Airport. So you're looking at about a 45 minute domestic flight and a 15 minute speedboat journey, or a 45 minute seaplane journey, which takes you direct to the resort. It's definitely a bucket list item in itself. Uh, in terms of luxury, Nyama is absolutely stunning and is one of my personal favorite resorts in the Maldives. Uh, so whether you're traveling with surfers or non-surfers, everyone's gonna have a great time here. And the two islands chill and play offer a whole heap of activities and relaxation for everyone involved, including the world's first underwater restaurant as well, Sub Six, so make sure you go check that out. But yeah, that's Nyama Private Islands in Dalu Atoll. If you're looking for an absolutely epic Maldives surf resort that offers uncrowded breaks, then Aida Maldives is a great option to look into. I situated down in the Gafu Dalu Atoll, it is a little bit further to travel than other resorts in this guide. It takes about two hours from Mali International Airport to reach there, um, which is an hour domestic flight followed by about an hour on a speedboat. The journey is definitely worth it though um, because you are surrounded by heaps of beautiful uncrowded spots. The likes of tiger stripes, blue bowls and love charms are all within a short uh, distance of the resort. Uh, the resort itself doesn't actually have a surf break on its doorstep so please be aware of that. Um, but there are plenty of surf packages that you can book to make the most of the breaks on offer. Uh, during certain periods of the year, they do offer an unlimited surfer pass, which gives you multiple daily surf transfers um, across your entire stay, or you can book individual passes as well. Uh, if you are heading to AADA for surf, I would pre-book your surf packages as you'll save 25% on what you would pay at the resort. So it's definitely worth planning ahead and getting those passes all locked in. 
Uh, the resort itself, absolutely stunning five-star Maldives resort with all the amenities you'd expect, including overwater villas, private pools, and incredible scuba diving as well because you're that much further away from most of the activity in the country. So yeah, Aida Maldives, another great addition. Back to the North Marley Atoll again, and we're heading to Adaran Select and Lowy's. Uh, now, Lowy's is a reeling left-hander and another exclusive surf break as well, uh, which is limited to a maximum of 45 surfers. Uh, if you are heading to this uh, island, you do need to book a dedicated surfer package, but that does include all your meals, your drinks, surf guiding, transfers, and more. Um, it's also one of the best value kind of uh, resorts to head to if you are looking for those exclusive breaks. Uh, being in the North Mile Atoll, you are also surrounded by some of those epic other waves as well. So if you do decide to venture from the resort, uh, spots like Cokes, Sultans, Chickens and Jailbreaks uh, are all within a short speedboat transfer of the resort. And there are two daily surf boats heading out for anyone on those surfer packages as well. Uh, being in the North Mile Atoll, you're within a short distance of the International Airport as well. So it's another great option for those who don't want lots of extra travel time on top of their international flights. We're off the beaten track again, and now we're at Six Senses Lamu in the Lamu Atoll. Um, again, this is a little bit more of a trek from Mali International Airport, about an hour domestic flight followed by a short speedboat journey, but the result is truly serene and exclusive uncrowded surfing in the Maldives. In fact, at the moment, Six Senses Lamu is the only resort in the atoll, so you've got no one else competing for waves. Um, you do have access to Jetty Sea, which is a short, punchy reef break just off the resort. Um, but the main breaks can be found within a short speedboat journey of the resort itself. So the likes of petrols and machines. But the main draw here is Yin Yang's, which is fast and hollow with a really nice cover up section at the end. In fact, you may recognize some of the waves from Mick Fanning's Stab Electric Acid Test this year. So you've got world class waves right on your doorstep. In terms of the resort, you've got all the five-star luxury you expect from the Six Senses brand, and this resort is definitely focused in on its eco and sustainability credentials, um, with lots of farm-to-table uh, meals uh, through the gardens on the resort, and lots of bamboo and re uh, recycled uh, materials were used in the building of this resort as well. So yeah, that's Six Senses Lamu and Yin Yang's. And there you have it, guys. That's five of the best Maldives surf resorts to add to your bucket list. And now if you do want any more information on any of the resorts in this guide, other Maldives surf resorts or surf trips, make sure you check out the crew of Stoke Surf Adventures and they'll hook you up with the best deal and all the best advice. That's it for this week, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.